hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for joining me if you are new to this channel welcome welcome and welcome please do make sure that you hit the subscribe button you turn on your notification bell you like you comment just basically be here and be active and you know participating and just interacting with my content so far i really do appreciate your presence and being here Guys, I want us to say a few things about Dimpumi. <laughs> Actually, it's really a lot. I don't want to lie. It's really a lot. I couldn't really, you know, take a clip of um, what had happened. But I was watching the whole entire thing. So basically, I'm just going to be explaining to you guys and also trying to analyze what i had um watched so before we get straight to everything let's read this tweet mara in this tembu is mpomi only good for the night during the day jareed is always making sure lee is okay yeah so to those who do not know the meaning of stembu is basically polygamy because i do know that i have viewers that are not i not only just from here in south africa so probably maybe you wouldn't understand what this tembu name means that's why i'm explaining so today as else was uh they were celebrating else's birthday outside um jared was sitting next to liema and they were all lovey-dovey you know like they were serving couple goals as usual so i think i guess maybe that's one of the reasons why that person tweeted that statement right so mpumi was just by herself she was just there even after the the party she went inside i, I saw her she went inside the house and she was just dance, dancing there by the mirrors and everything and everything you know she seemed cool she seemed okay until after like probably maybe after like 20 30 minutes baby girl is in the bedroom on top of a bed she was just quiet she, she was not crying as yet as she was sitting there and then jared came and then he found her there and then he started asking her like are you okay are you fine and then Pumi started explaining that, no, I'm not really okay. I mean, um, I'm in a, a place where it's full of people, but I feel so lonely. And then she started talking about a whole lot of things, about missing her grandmother, talking about her grandmothers, her family, and all of that, you know. But I was just like, okay. So, all of a sudden when everyone is just you know having a great time when i just like suddenly get emotional in such a vibey day oh guys i don't know i'm not saying it's wrong to actually you know express your emotions and how you feel it's also not wrong to cry but i just feel like as human beings we need to understand ourselves and try to be kind to ourselves and please guys do not come for me you know today I, I even have a headache so please don't come for me for saying all of this but um I, I just feel like it's the truth because all of the reasons she was basically giving jareed as to why she's crying to me it didn't really it didn't really add up okay because she also started mentioning things like there's bad energies around and also, uh, her granny used to tell her that she shouldn't allow her friends to surpass her. So, like, I was really confused to a point where I was like, okay, could it be that she felt alone because the whole entire time Jared was paying attention to Liema and was being, I mean, like, was being, like, I don't know. Maybe it's because most of the time, the whole entire day, he was with Liema, paying attention to her, paying attention to, like, her, her, her feelings, emotion, her emotions and everything, like, basically taking care of her. And, she, I mean, he wasn't giving much attention to Mbumi. But also, I'm thinking, actually, someone said something that could make sense because when Yolanda was giving um, a speech to 
to this one to else she mentioned something like okay i actually mentioned it on my previous video where i posted about else's birthday that um you are beautiful you are beautiful as z liema and Milay. so basically she mentioned those three people so i'm thinking could it have triggered something or could it have bothered her that yolanda mentioned those three girls and didn't mention her also it could be that to be honest it really could be that but i'm not sure you know because right now I, like i'm trying to i'm trying to refresh my mind from all the cases where i actually remembered where um Mbumi cried okay the first case was that tomato sauce fight not even fight but like that back and forth with lerato where lerato told her that she's waste, she's wasting tomato sauce and then the second one was that day that saturday night party when her and when liema had to call her on the side and they talk about the whole jerry things and she had to like tell jerry to set boundaries and stuff like that you know that back and forth the following morning she woke up and cried that's the day where Pale actually told her that you're free to take an a voluntary exit if you feel like you cannot take it anymore you know and then today again after everything that's going on she's crying again for me i do not think it's all about her grandmom or anything like that or yeah i just don't think so i just don't think it is that one it could be that jared maybe has been paying attention like too much attention to liema or maybe because of what yolanda said it could be the two and from yolanda's side i'm not saying she's wrong for saying that because like she was just saying she, she was just saying it out in jay because she didn't mention all the girls that are there um also with jared it could be that one that's one of the reasons why i actually mentioned that you know sometimes we need to know ourselves and be kind to ourselves what i'm trying to say is that if she cannot handle the heat of this situation ship if she cannot understand that sometimes jared will be paying attention more attention to the first girlfriend then she should leave rather than you know suffering for for what exactly for like your for what exactly so according to me i don't think she's crying because of her reasons the ones that she's saying missing her grandmother and everything i don't think so even though she's explained uh that her grandmother passed on uh on the 31st of december and stuff like that but somehow i just have a feeling that it really has nothing to do with that although i really do wish her love and light you know may she heal from whatever it is that she's going through so she cannot you know uh, continue being like this because also it's sad to watch someone constantly going through certain emotions so yeah guys do let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section because i'd really love to hear from you and yeah i think that will be all for now so yeah do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for stopping by and thank you so much for watching yeah please do do not forget to like comment and subscribe most importantly and do take care on a weekend like this i will see you guys on my next video thank you so much for stopping by once again bye